Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today we'll be talking about the ordinary and I talked about this in my skincare video, but I really wanted to talk more about the products I personally got about the ordinary. Diving right in, the ordinary is uh, a part of the same, I believe is how you say it. It's like a bigger brand that sort of like an umbrella to different uh, companies or products known for being really inexpensive, affordable to pretty much drugstore prices, if you will. So yeah, and I really wanted to try it out because I've been hearing really good things about the brand and I was like, you know what? I'm shopping already at Sephora. Let me go ahead and go crazy because why not? It's quarantine. It's spent all the money we don't have. <laughs> First thing I have is this 100% organic rosehip oil and I really like this one because it is hydrating. It's not, it doesn't give you like a clogged up feeling. It just feels amazing on the skin. It has omega-3, omega-6 and vitamin A in it. It's just really just juicy for the skin. Um, it does have a slight smell, but that doesn't mean that it's rancid or going bad. It just means that it's, you know, in its purest form. So it does have like an Amazonian rain smell. So the packaging comes in a UV protective packaging. So, you know, it doesn't go like rancid because of UV light. The reason why it's cold pressed is because when you do heat up oils, it does tend to lose some of these amazing functionalities to it, like omega-6, omega-3, and vitamin A that will help actually do the work. And this has brightening properties, it has moisturizing properties. So yeah, it's important to know that it's cold pressed. This oil is super popular on their website. I think it sold out the first time I tried to get it. And the second time I got it right before it sold out again. So it's a really, really popular product and it's only like $9.80, so pretty much $10. I really love, love using this product at night. I use it at night time um, before I go to bed. Next one I have is Mandelic, Mandelic, Mandelic Acid. This one also has hyaluronic acid, which is just right up my alley. This one says to apply at night time. Uh, it's just also an amazing AHA product. It does have a pH of 3.5 to 3.7. Obviously it's an acid, so it's, it has an acidic pH. So it's important to apply this maybe after you cleanse your face and you can use this exfoliate. So it's a gentle exfoliator. I think I mentioned that in my last video, how I, you know, all of my exfoliating products were more gentle because I don't really like the heavy, like strong glycolic acid exfoliation. So this one just does the job um, for me. And yeah, use it, make sure to use it before you start putting the rest of your products, especially I would advise personally to use before you use a toner, so right after you cleanse so that that way you can use a toner to balance back your skin pH because this one does have a really, really acidic pH. So mandelic acid has a higher molecular weight than your uh, traditional glycolic acid AHA and the reason why it has a bigger molecular weight is because it slowly goes into your uh, skin barrier to uh, to do the work. So this bigger size of mandelic acid helps it go slower into the skin and penetrate the skin a lot slower so that it can gently exfoliate your skin and I'll give you sort of like an instant gratification of like heavy exfoliating. So I really, really love this product. The next product I have is Azelaic Acid. I've been hearing a lot about this one, especially from dermatologists and how it's just like a great product. Azelaic Acid is produced naturally by the uh, yeast that lives in our skin. So it's just obviously a beneficial thing for our skin to have. It could be used both in the morning and night. This is a multifunctional product, so it's great for brightening, it's great for making your blemishes look better, and it's also great for improving the texture of our skin. So for me personally, I've struggled with textured skin and you know, hyperpigmentation, which I'm sure a lot of people of color struggle with. So it's really important for me to have something that helps to brighten my skin and improve the skin, my skin texture. So this is something that I'm really excited that I uh, to have uh, as part of my skincare routine. This product is formulated at more of a lower pH. It, it's between four and five, which is not that too far from our regular skin pH, but it's also important to know to apply it before you apply it. maybe a toner um, to sort of, you know, help balance back that skin pH so you don't have just an acid sitting on your skin. But yeah, I definitely recommend this one. The last product I got from The Ordinary is the salicylic acid mask. And I really wanted a mask because um, I wanted something I could use like weekly or bi-weekly to help peel off the dead skin cells on the surface of my skin. And this one is great because it also has brightening properties. Salicylic acid has a very uh, oily structure. So that structure of it helps for it to be miscible with our already lipophilic skin. This one is also formulated with charcoal and I'm using clay and squalene. And you guys, I love squalene. I'll list all the benefits of squalene right here. 
is just such a great product. Charcoal and clay helps to draw out impurities from the skin and as well as improve smoothness and texture of the skin. So this is an all around amazing product as well. If I was to recommend two things from here, definitely rosehip oil for sure and the azelaic acid. And then third would be the salicylic acid mask. But yeah, that's it for me. If you guys use The Ordinary, do you guys love The Ordinary? What are your favorite products from them? I'm also hearing about this new line that's sort of similar to The Ordinary called the Inky List. Have you guys tried that? Let me know in the comments below. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Definitely hit the thumbs up button if you like videos like this. And I'll definitely make more and review a lot more brands if you guys like it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.